back with another video and today I'm going to talk about my best win and explaining my moves. I played this game on another account as a 2035 and I beat a 2532 FM. I played this game in the summer of 2020, not too long ago, and I hope you enjoy it. Leave a combo down below, what should I do next, and yeah, I hope you enjoy. So the game started off me playing white and my opponent playing back, black, and I just um, always do. I play E4 um, when I'm white, and yeah, this is how the game went. So e4, c5, responding with the Sicilian defense, and whenever I play a Sicilian defense, I always, always, always play a Smith Mora. I'm just a gamut type of player. So I go for d4, and then knight c6. Already a mistake in the opening, a move three, or move two, already a mistake. Now, the reason why it's a mistake, because after d5, his knight has to go there, and then f4, and then knight g6, and he has moved, his knight just moved three times while I'm just gaining the center. Now, you guys might be thinking like, huh, what about knight d4? Well, it's actually c3, and his knight's completely trapped. Now you're like, oh, he has queen a5, but then there's b4, attacking the queen, getting rid of the pin, and after takes, there is queen takes d4. And then there you go, that's just a piece. Oops. So yeah, a little trick here, b4... And if he moves away, obviously, you can just take. So he must go 95. And then I'm just going to kick him away and then control the center. Now, these beautiful four pawns are just terrific in this situation. His knight moved three times out of the opening. And that's just not good. You want to develop as quick as you could and gain the center. And that's what I've been done and doing so far in this game. So he tries to break my center with e6. I respond with knight f3. He takes. He takes. And again, already, I think I am much better here. I'm not much, much better, but um, this position is much more closed for him. As after d6, he has one move for his bishop. I mean, these pawns are way more advanced. These ones are way behind. And this con, if he ever moves it to d6, this can be a pretty big target, especially in the end game. So d6, bishop d3, knight f3, castles, knight c3, castles, f5 now the reason why i played f5 is here is because he has really has three moves this move is terrible because his knight won't be able to come back to g6 as i'm guarding the, the square and it's basically just he's playing down a knight the other move he has is knight h4 again terrible move because i can just take his knight and the last move only good move well i don't even say it's good but the only move black actually has to do here is 95 and after 95 i can take take and then this pawn can become a threat in the end game as a pass pawn so let's see how i did i took he took and i played 94 just guarding and centralizing my knight on e4 so he responded taking and i took now this is always a threat you guys should look at with f6, now my bishop's attacking this pawn. Nothing's gonna happen yet. Nothing's gonna happen yet, as I don't have an attack, but it's always a threat on f6, because I'm attacking this pawn and I'm attacking this bishop, as it's discover attack. He goes bishop g5, and I do a very nice move, the best move, I'm up around two points here, queen h5, attacking the bishop. Now again, if he takes, I always have the threat with f6, it doesn't work quite yet, because then you can go g6. So as I say, he takes, I go f6. It doesn't work, because after this, I'm just I'm just completely worse. No queen h6, because the bishop guards it, and I'm just, I'm just losing. But I, I did this move, queen h5, to attack his bishop, and to still have the threat with queen h7, and attacking the h7 pawn. So he did take, obviously. I took him back, and then he goes for a5. Now stop and pause the video, and... Try to find the best move here. I'm up around 11 points. And I've mentioned this a lot in the game. And the move is F6. Why? Because I'm threatening this pawn. Unless he tries to defend, there's queen h6 and he can't stop the mate. It's over. Unless he, he wants to take. And then you're just going to be up a full queen as my rook's attacking and defending the pawn. So how else can he save it? He has one other move that will basically save him the game. To defend this pawn and it, he played in the game h6 i responded with rook f3 uh just to bring all my pieces in i mean i can't go queen f5 here because his bishop covers that square so i may as well just my idea was to go rook f3 rook g3 and then try to take and attack 
and even sack if push. So I, I'm, I'm liking my position a lot here. He responds with the best move, rook a6, to try to limit my attack. Because if I do play rook g3, this pawn hangs by the queen and the rook. So if, just rook takes and queen takes are around the same, equal. And he's just better here. So what do I do in response? I go, I take. Now, there is a much, much better here um, that I just realized. Um, rook cf1 is the best move for sure. I'm defending this pawn and still threatening rook g3. And most importantly, threatening g takes, f takes g7. Now let's say I'm just going to do a waiting move, bishop d7. There is takes. Now if he moves away, you can just take or take with the queen. But if takes, there's rook takes f7. So he has to become very, very careful with this. Very careful. And that's the main, main threat that I've missed with rook f1. Rook cf1 attacking this pawn on f7. I didn't play it. I took, and my position is still much better here. But again, I had stronger and much better moves. So he took. I went check on g3, which is actually, again, not the best move. Queen takes e5 is the best just to take and take all his pawns and just win the game by being up tons of pawns. I played a blunder slash mistake um rook g3 my position is only still much better but now i went from being up like 11 points to three points now the reason between because of this after king h8 i can't take i'm kind of stuck i can't go queen f5 i could take which is good but my position like it's not as good as it could have when if i just took his pawn first so he plays king h8, the best move, and then I just take on e5, he pushes me away, I go queen h5, again, only up like three points around here, but my position does look like I'm attacking him, and it's definitely harder to play once you're human, obviously none of us are computers and can't play as well as a computer. So he pushed. Now the reason behind this is obviously because I'm threatening queen g6, threatening mate, threatening mate, and threatening mate. So, he has to defend this pawn somehow. That's the main threat. And I'm also threatening this. So, he can't just defend this pawn. He has to defend everything at once. And to even block and get rid of my bishop with f5. What did I just... Oh, okay. f5. Now I did bishop b1. Again, the best move. I just moved my bishop and I retreated. He goes queen f6. I go rook e1. He plays rook b6, a lot of like repeating and just calm, calm moves, not very attacking moves. A4, trying to break my structure. I go rook e8, still up around two points. Takes, I take back, and then he does a blunder. Now, feel free to pause the video and try to find the best move. I was around two points until he made this move, which moved me up to 20 and it's not that hard to find, so pause the video and try to find it. So the best move is rook g6. Attacking the queen, threatening checkmate. Queen d4. Again, if he does it like, he, if he takes, there's, I can take the rook. And I can take his queen. So if takes, there's just bishop takes g6 and I'm just winning. Even after takes, I mean just a queen versus a rook, it's just killing like it's not even fair and i'm up pawns rook g6 queen d4 check now i think he has the idea of like getting me in a back rank but after king h1 i'm defending every square so i'm not sure why maybe he wants to go queen b2 but he took which led into a maiden one by me and that's how i beat a 2500 FM, who had a peak of actually 2,800, which is pretty cool. I beat him in a tournament. Um, so obviously, rook takes e8 is a horrendous move. Just letting me go queen a6, checkmate in one. Now, what he should have done, I'm up 63 points. It doesn't matter in this position, but what he should have done was rook takes g6. After rook takes g6, I just have check. And then after king g7... I just have bishop, rook takes c8, and I just win the pawn. 
and he has no back rank issues I'm attacking this and threatening like mates all over the place and that's the only way to avoid checkmate he doesn't have any other moves because again if he goes there it's just made a one he has one move to defend the mate and I just take and it actually is a mate in 12 but oh well I don't, I'm not gonna see that and I just take the uh, the bishop on c8 and he's just completely finished like after he goes here like there's mates all over the place like rook c7 rook d7 because obviously if he goes back to rank it's mate but same thing's gonna happen anyway after king f6 there's mate on one rook f7 so that is my game i hope you guys did enjoy if you want to see more content like this then make sure to subscribe and leave a like and yeah thank you for for watching my game you should subscribe to my channel you should subscribe to my channel this is super hot dog speaking you should subscribe to my